Hey guys, Hidden Dude here, or in this case, how about Vic HD? So, you know, Vic HD is in high definition. Uh, anyway, I figured I would probably get the, a name change and upgrade in the channel since I haven't really been using using it much as of late. Uh, I've been working a lot as a teacher, and that's been uh, keeping me very busy in the mornings and in the afternoons. Uh, usually busy just grading and, and uh, creating other evaluations. So I've been very busy with. Uh, Anyway, with my current job so I know I know I really want to get back to the channel and the updates and then create more content for you guys but it's been a little difficult right I'll admit um, as to what well what to expect from the Nintendo Direct well a lot of things I've been hearing a lot of rumors about Mario Kart 9 I've been hearing rumors about uh, I think Splatoon or maybe some kind of a Xenoblade uh, was it Xenoblade Chronicles update or something like that but um, who knows? Who knows what to expect, to be honest. Um, well, we just have to wait and see, because uh, right now, the Nintendo Direct just feels kind of lacking, for lack of a better term, because, you know, normally, Nintendo Direct, the big thing was Smash Brothers, and uh, since the Smash Brothers Direct has already, well, uh, the Smash Brothers uh, DLC has already ended, uh, things are kind of, like, died down, it's... It's been an end of an era. Zora's um, inclusion in Smash Brothers was just amazing. Um, there were people that were just cheering. Others were crying. I couldn't believe it. This was like the closest thing to actually seeing um, Kingdom Hearts uh, being represented. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. It was the closest thing to seeing a Disney character being represented in uh, in a Smash Brothers game. But the legal, the legal loopholes that they had to go through just to get the character in there. I mean, Sakurai deserves all the credit in the world for that. But after Smash Brothers DLC ended, there was just nothing else to do. So, like I said, it's an end of an era. A lot of things have died down. And, uh, well, hoping for the best. Who knows what to expect here regarding Mario Kart, if there's going to be some kind of an announcement about that. But you never know. I've been hearing, like, some occasional things, I think, involving a other IPs, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, I, I do have to say that, um, oh, never mind. Let's check this out right now. Yeah, COVID, unfortunately, has really affected a lot of uh, progress here. Fire Emblem? Oh, I see now. It makes total sense. Why? Considering how... Considering how Toei, Koei Tecmo has already done two versions of Hyrule Warriors, and they've done a previous, um, they've done a previous uh, Fire Emblem Warriors too, so it makes perfect sense that they're going to continue this. The the um, Warriors type of gameplay is a lot of fun. I'll give it that. I managed to beat Age of Calamity, to be honest. Uh, I did play like the the Zelda-based Warriors games. The, I think the Musou series, that's what it's called. I'm intrigued about the Fire Emblem variations. I really want to check those out. Especially the previous one. The combat can be very brutal if you don't uh, level up early. Uh, that, that's what I hate about RPGs. If you don't level up early, you are screwed. So it's a lot of grinding. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. Nice. June 24th. Summer's gonna be hot. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes game. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem. Nice. 
Fire Emblem has gotten so much flack because of Smash. I kind of feel bad for the IP. The Orange Star Nation needs you. Nice. We've got more intel. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, speaking of Fire Emblem, Advanced Wars is pretty much the same gameplay mechanic. I, I do like the art style. Very simplistic, yet very uh, detailed. Very cute. So it's it's very similar to Fire Emblem. If uh, anyone uh, hasn't played this before, essentially it's like um, it it is Fire Emblem just with more more units, more battalions. So it could be soldiers, it could be tanks, it could be cars, planes, whatever. So if anyone's curious about the uh, this tactical RPG, check it out. Definitely. Nice. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp marches onto the Nintendo Switch system April 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Alright. What else do we have? Explore an infinite universe. In No Man's Sky. What? Is the light of a distant sun. No Man's Sky? The game that caused so much controversy years ago that it was released and it was like a buggy mess? The game that later became a cult classic after the finally all the the bugs were patched? Really, No Man's Sky gets ported to the Switch. Wow. I've heard of the controversy behind No Man's Sky, but man, I never thought I'd see this. I'm just hoping and praying that this port ends up being good. Please. Don't ruin this port. I'll give... I'll give No Man's Sky the benefit of the doubt if they make this port work. This is crazy. I never thought I'd see this. Whoa! Mario Strikers is back! Oh, wow. Ah, classic quality. The game looks amazing, though. Of course, considering how, considering how Nintendo bought Battle League, Battle League. considering how they bought next level games, it was going to be a no brainer that they were going to make another, another Mario Strikers. But you know what's the funny thing about uh, Mario Strikers? What got the most attention was well. Peach and Daisy. <laughs> it ended up in, in unintentionally being like fan service or, or eye candy for the princesses. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think they had to tone down the appearance as well. Ah, cool. So they're really going to focus on the armor. Whoa. How's this gonna work? Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. That's nothing. In the previous one you could score three. Up to eight players. Four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Obviously it makes sense. They had to include some kind of a multiplayer. Online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club All right. keep replacement in the ranking. To 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. 
try to become the world's top club. And even Rosalina's in the game. With items. T. Tackles. You're here for the ball game, but you stay for the gals. series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this anything goes battle soccer game. Next, please take a look at this. What else do we have? Splatoon 3? <laughs> I knew it. They really had to make this one look a little grittier. In its, um, in its presentation. The invasion has begun. Nice. The heck? The fish stick. Now, when it comes to Splatoon, I've only played the first one, so I'm not really familiar with anything else that happened in the second game. Flipper Flopper. Egg throw? So that's gonna be the grenade launcher, right. Looks pretty fun, not gonna lie. It's like they made it grittier, but still kept like an innocent fun to it. The heck? The salmon run. Next wave. Wow. That was the trailer for the co-op mode in the Splatoon 3 game. They got pretty fishy. Why does it remind me of Craig? Like from, um, from Metroid. Well, it's time to kick some bass. Let's see. Vonzers at the ready. Vonzers. Mission. In this tactical RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to I think I've heard of it. Gain the upper so it's one of these isometric like, enemy parts to mecha RPGs kind of the scenario. Mix and match okay. various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Uncover the great storyline. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that she's she's named Karen. You know how that became a uh, stereotype now. The sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Nice. Get set for a high octane Pixar Combat Racer. What is this? From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip roaring racing action across Disney and Pixar inspired racetracks. Asphalt, huh? Has a legendary roster of characters on high-speed circuits, 
using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed, Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Perfect yeah, sorry about the quality, by the way. Sometimes I have, like, the bad connection. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game with new seasons added regularly. Oh, free-to-play? Okay, then maybe you could pick it up. It just reminds me of, like, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I wanted, like, those, like, Crash Bandicoot type of racing games. Okay, the Force Unleashed. Nice. This was on the Wii. Okay. You can also duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. Star Wars nice. The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Wow. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. A remaster of Oh the my RPG god. Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. One faithful Chrono game, Chrono Cross? Really? This being the quote unquote Someone sequel of Chrono Trigger. He finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious? I never thought I'd see the day this thing will get ported. Back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Oh sure, but but no Chrono Trigger sequel. Depending on the choices you make, the allies who accompany you and the end. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's it's great to see this. I've never really had a chance to play it. But I never thought this would actually happen. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing about Radical Dreamers. It's text-based. Supposedly it's like a continuation of Chrono Trigger or something like that. And it, it's just mostly text. So if you're just interested in reading, uh, reading the stories, it's up to you. Kirby! Oh, this is a like the three D Kirby game, right? Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Lands, I think it was. <laughs> uh oh, Kenny. How cool! Introducing mouthful mode. <laughs> Inhale a car to zoom around. A vending machine to attack the juice cans. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Or become a piercing cone. Nice. I get Kirby 64 vibes out of this one. He just becomes a giant water balloon, yeah. Classic cutter. 
check range of attacks. Oh, okay, they get upgrades. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. No one has a bigger sword than Kirby. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Nice. What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby you do get a Mario Odyssey vibe out of this. Nintendo Switch system, March 25th. Very cool. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. More Kingdom Hearts Madness. Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC. Every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Why cloud gaming? Just, just why? Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld. I don't like the idea of cloud gaming. It's too much lag. Not everyone has a good connect connection for this kind of thing. Each collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Whoa! Oh my god! Capcom, you haven't uh, Capcom. Namco, Bandai Namco, you haven't forgotten about this little guy. Also, Thanks for Yes! Klonoa's back! It's become such a cult classic now. We're so glad you're here. Come here often. Either way, huh. Wow, I never thought I'd see this. Your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab. Create and warp to other areas to find cake? Still unconfirmed. The cake is a lie. And so can cubes, lasers, and robots with unnerving levels of personality. This game was so mind blowing when it came out years ago. That's amazing. The game is still great after all these years. This seems familiar. Live Alive? Or Live Alive? This was in the Super Nintendo. Well, Super Famicom. And it's getting the Octopath Traveler treatment. I think, right? 2D sprites in a 3D atmosphere. Live Alive, that's what it's called. Oh, wow. I've heard so much about this game, but I've never really had a chance to play it. Secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty in death. Voice acting too, cool. Live alive. Launches on Nintendo Switch July 27th. Ah, I should check that out. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Nice. How was that? Next up... The Klonoa stuff impressed me. Like, literally surprised me. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports <laughs> Switch Sports. Of course they had to bring it and back somehow. Sports. Please take a look. Yeah, they had to switch it up. Pun intended. Yes, we do. 
course, tennis. It's still pretty bare bones. We kind of get the whole gist of it, right? It's it's very bare bones. This is... Yeah, Wii Sports Resort. This is pretty much like the whole um, sword fighting part. What else? Okay. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. Cool. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play sh Oh boy. Shoot out mode with intuitive kicking motions. Sorry. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, set, and spike the ball. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system. I was wondering how they would implement um, Wii Sports. Oh, dang it. I was wondering how they would implement Wii Sports like this. Yeah, having some network connection problems. Ugh. Sorry, I have to lower the quality now. I have to lower the quality at this point. Sorry about that. Connection problems right now. <laughs> Koizumi san. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me as well. Yeah, but not every house has a big Stop. living room. Set. Spike. The other team saves it and fights back. And they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. It's in. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. The set. Here's a spike. Koizumi spikes. But it goes right through. Oh, blocked. Here's another attack. Now their chance. The ball. Nice. They got a point with that fear spike. Let's stop our match. Looks like they're bringing back the casuals with the switch. All right, I'll be leaving now. And he's off. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. The game launches April 29th. Hey, they had to switch it up. Of course. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. After the whole debacle that happened with the Nintendo Switch Online. I'd like to ask for your help with this. The online playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch Online membership on the dates shown on screen. Okay. For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. Thank you. 
that's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, this is gonna bring back grandmas and grandpas that just want to play bowling most of the time. I mean, not, nothing wrong with it, of course. Taito Drums, we have rhythm games. Really? Megalovania? Come on! God, that song is so meme-worthy right now. This is literally Donkey Konga. I miss Donkey Konga. As, as dumb as it was, it was actually kind of fun. Everyone going with this art style. Just because Octopath Traveler did this art style in a unique way doesn't mean that everyone has to copy it. Whatever, whatever. It's still just a, a way to reinvent um, 2D JRPGs. What's next is a. Uh, what was it? What, what was that Sega game that was kind of like Fire Emblem? Cuphead, nice. I was thinking Shining Force earlier. I know that there's a Netflix show right now. I might have to check that out. Miss Chalice, huh? Okay, hard mode. Getting hit even once causes a game over. The brutal dread mode difficulty. It's dread mode, okay. Can you face this new challenge? Whose game? And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. This free update launches later today. Nice. A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode. You'll battle bosses continuously, one at a time. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Earthbound. It was kind of obvious. Earthbound is one of those games that I've wanted to get into, but for some reason I just can't. Right? I know it has a fan following, I know it, a lot of people love this game, but it, it I just can't finish the game. It, it, it's not that it's hard, it's just that it's... I just don't feel it as engaging. I mean, I'm gonna explain this. I really want to finish this game one of these days, alright? Don't get me wrong. But it's just kind of a hard game to, like, get engaged with. I mean, I do acknowledge that Oh, Earthbound Beginnings! Okay, so... Those two games are gonna be ported. But the question remains... Where is Mother 3? Where is Mother 3? Nintendo Switch Online later today. 
Damn it, Nintendo, give us Mother 3! Oh, boy. Zombie Army, Dead War. What else do we have? Undying Moon. Uh, well, it's at least it's something from Konami. Something that looks decent. Demon Slayer looks pretty cool. Lego games. So, okay, like a beat em up or like a smash clone? Two point campus. Okay, some kind of a wizardry kind of game, I guess. Sandbox wizardry game. What did you think? Here's some news from no Mother 3, sorry guys. What? They're actually going to include this in uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Are they like including Wii levels? Wow. So there's more fun to be had. This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. They still haven't given up on Mario Kart 8. Some courses from past Mario Kart games. Nice. Even Mario Kart Tour. Released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing. Oh my god. Courses such as Coconut Mall. That was a fun one. Neat. N64 throwback. Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. Fascinating. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. Okay. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch March 18th. Pre-orders begin today. On Nintendo eShop. You can enjoy this uh. at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. Well, you might as well take advantage of this, because, uh. Um, looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This Why ask for Mario Kart 9 when this is just uh, an expansion? They're really trying to extend the life of Mario Kart 8, so, so much for that. Wait for Mario Kart 9 when it gets announced, probably in the next year or two. And living to find. That's the way of our world. That's Xenoblade, isn't it? Is this Xenoblade Chronicles X, or is this a new one?
Like either this is uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X or Chronicles 3. I never even finished the first one. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, okay. Well, the fan base is rejoicing. Excellent. We got more Xenoblade coming. Who's feeling it now? <laughs> the story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Wait, what? Thank you for watching. That's it? No Zelda? Huh. Well, the the there were some really good surprises, but uh, I was expecting a little more, you know. But it was decent for for what it's worth. So hey, it, it's something at least. There's just so much to expect later on. But uh, yeah, it's been fun recording another reaction video. It's I know it's been a while since I've actually made any any of these at all, but well. I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, take care, alright? See ya!